Hey, great job, Bob. Thanks. But how do you know my name? Uh, it's right there on your uniform. Oh, right. <laughs> You're a very observant kid. Uh, yeah. Someone like you could go all the way in this business, you know? The painting fire hydrants business? No thanks. Well, I do more than just painting. A cake farm. Wow, that's just fascinating. <laughs> I know. By the way, can I borrow your can of paint? It'll just be for a minute. No way. I need it. I haven't even seen you paint a single stroke since I've been here. Come on, it's for a good cause. Really? What? Well, uh, I'd like to recreate a scene from Brain Dead. I'm sorry, the paint stays where it is. Ah, thanks for nothing. You're welcome. Ah, oh, for the love of God, what did I do now? That's what I'm gonna find out. Are you Mr. Hicks? Mr. Hicks was my father. You can call me either Randall or Mr. Fantastic. Now, you know what? I want you to call me Mr. Fantastic. Don't push it. Now, let me get straight to the point. Your friend Matthew Griffin's been murdered at his apartment. Murdered? Yeah. Are you sure it wasn't a suicide? You seem to know a lot about it. Oh, no, uh, he, he, he just he used to say he would kill himself if the remake of V got cancelled. And I've been hiding it from him ever since it happened. But there's a chance he might have found out already. The moment the second season premiered, I knew his days were numbered. I don't have time to listen to your crap. You're coming with me. I'm sorry, but I am really busy today. I don't remember asking you if you felt like it. I said, you're coming with me. Okay, fine. Just don't start calling me Susan. Don't tell me what to do. You wait here, kid. You're the boss. Randall? Oh my god! Randall! I know, I know, it was on the news. I can't believe this is happening! I'm sorry, Sally. How do we not see it coming? <laughs> I never thought he'd go through with it. You know, he was always messing around. Well, this time it's serious, Randall. Well, maybe he didn't know what he was doing. No. No, no. He did know. <laughs> Are you sure? Of course I am. You know, it's all he's been talking about for months. That I miss him so much. I'd do anything to bring him back. <sighs> Why is this happening to me? Actually, I'm not that surprised. Think they can do anything to revive him or something? After all, he's only frozen. Sally, this is the real world. If people get frozen, they die. I wish it was Futurama, but it's not. I never thought he would actually do it. <laughs> I just can't live without him. If only there was a way to undo this. <laughs> I swear I would never shout at him again about his drinking or his addiction to sci-fi. <laughs> I just wish there was something I could a way to undo this? Sally, there is no way to undo this. Unless you can find a guy that has the ability to turn back time, I'm afraid you're just gonna have to accept the fact that Matt is not with us anymore. You! Here! Right now! Ah, uh, duty calls. Just ask them if they know someone in the CIA who can turn back time or something. <laughs> There's gotta be someone who knows about time travel, right? And tell them that money is not a problem. I could just sell Matt's Garbage Pail Kids trading cards collection. Please ask them. Mmm, okay, I will. Okay, what do you want from me? You don't seem very upset about your friend. One just gets used to these things. Are you used to seeing corpses? You don't even care that this one's your friend's? You know, I've seen his corpse so many times already. You're enjoying this, aren't you? Oh, come on. Just check out that look on Matt's face. <laughs> it's pretty funny, no? Oh, come on. I'm gonna prove that you killed him. When I do, I'll personally make sure you spend the rest of your life behind bars. 
Oh man, better men than you have tried, and they've all failed miserably. <clears throat> Don't you dare ever touch me again. I'm sick of going through the exact same thing day after day. I didn't do anything. Got it? Day after day? Sergeant, our test revealed that the temperature of the ice has reached 43 degrees below zero. Celsius or Fahrenheit? Kelvin. That is impossible, Ned. There's nothing below absolute zero. Well, now there is. This Frigomatic 9000 is the bomb. Hey, you dorks! Could you please shut the hell up? I'm trying to question the suspect here. Oh, here we go again with the suspect thing. Why do you think this was a suicide? Listen, Matt had been totally obsessed with the idea of freezing himself for years. He said he wanted to see a future ruled by machines. It's kind of hard to explain. Poor bastard. And what were you doing around here at this time of day? Don't you have a job to be at? Actually, I was on my way to work when I ran into you. Is that so? Emerson Express is pretty far from here. I know, but I had to deliver... Hold it. How do you know where I work? It's my job to know, kid. But this isn't about me. It's about you and what you know. So come on, start talking. Well, there's not much to say. I'm a delivery guy and I deliver stuff. Sometimes here, sometimes there. Always delivering, you know. Always delivering, huh? Okay, I'll keep that in mind. Were there any problems between you and Mr. Griffin? Not really. Why? I'm asking the questions here. What made you put him in that freezer? I didn't. So you hired someone else, huh? Hmm, I see. Oh, come on. Do I look like I can afford a hitman? I better not tell you what you look like, kid. Do you know why you're here? Today? No. What, were you here yesterday as well? Well, uh, it's kind of a long story, and honestly, I don't think you're gonna buy it, so... I got plenty of time. Tell me everything, kid. Okay, then. And that's why I need to save Doc before I attach the DeLorean to the steam train to be able to go back to 1985. Uh, no, wait, I, I think I lost it again. Enough! I don't want to hear another word. Sergeant, we're done here. So? Well, as weird as it sounds, it was a suicide. No one would commit suicide like that. Who could be that stupid? Matt? Matt was? Did you ever meet Matt? Shut it. I'm not done with you yet. And you? Why are you so sure he got in there himself? There's a suicide note stuck to the fridge. It says something about a future ruled by machines. Did you check the handwriting? Yes, we compared it to some threatening letters he wrote to Doctors Without Borders a few years ago. It's a match. Why would he threaten Doctors Without Borders? Well, Matt thought they were the ones who kidnapped his dog. I don't remember why. Then I found out Matt didn't even have a dog. His girlfriend confirmed that the victim had talked about cryogenically freezing himself several times before. <laughs> Maybe the world's better off without him. Okay, so if we're done here, I'm gonna take off. I got some things to do. Hey, not so fast. The only one leaving right now is me. I need to check some facts. I'm just going to radio some info in. Oh, come on. Sally already left. The girl was very disturbed. She needed to go home and calm down. Well, I could do with the rest as well. Kinda running out of cop jokes here. Great! Maybe then you'll say something coherent. Well, don't get your hopes up. You filthy maggot. You're not going anywhere until I make some calls. Oh, come on, but I gotta... But I gotta nothing. The suspect is not to leave the room under any circumstances. Yes, Sergeant. Yes, Sergeant. You can't hold me here. I'm almost sure I haven't done anything. Maybe not, but I told you, I don't like your face. At least I think I did. I'll be back in a few minutes. Well, at least he didn't call me Susan this time. Finally, I have made my decision. I want to say thank you to all of you who have supported me in making this dream come true. Now I will be able to see that future ruled by machines I've dreamed so much of. Thank you, Mother, for my new fridge. Its freezing power is just amazing. I'm 
deeply sorry for you, Sally. You've done nothing to deserve this suffering. I would have loved to be able to give you the best, but regrettably, I've lost my will to live. At least on a planet not ruled by machines. But as good old Jules Winfield said, gun in his hand, the path of the righteous man is beset on all sides by the iniquities of the selfish and the tyranny of evil men. Blessed is he who, in the name of charity and goodwill, shepherds the weak through the valley of darkness, for he is truly his brother's keeper and the finder of lost children. And I will strike down upon thee with great vengeance and furious anger those who attempt to poison and destroy my brothers. And you will know I am the Lord when I lay my vengeance upon you. Must not fall into temptation. I'm gonna pass. There's still some bits of mat left in it. Ugh. Besides, I've got bigger fish to fry right now. He's frozen. So, you got your way in the end, huh? You damn psycho. I miss you already, buddy. Hello? I think it's seen better days. If you believe I can bring him back to life by doing that, you've seen too many sci-fi movies. Or too few. I'm sorry to desecrate your remains like this, buddy, but I have no choice. I knew I could count on you for just this one last time. Try not to drink in the middle of the day during the week. I don't think that's a good idea. I don't really need to take it. Right now, anyway. I can't seem to open it. I should have never quit the gym. I can. It's locked from the outside. Hmm, which genius came up with that idea? I don't think that's a good idea. Can I go home for just a second? I think I left the oven on. That doesn't seem to be our problem. Seriously? What if my roommate dies? Aren't you supposed to be cops? Nah, we we're just forensic investigators. We analyze blood samples, take pictures, look for fingerprints. That's right. And you know, if there was a fire in your building, if anything, that would be a good thing for us. We just love our job. And they say I'm the weird one. Is it wrong to like your job? Just because we are always at crime scenes, surrounded by corpses and blood, doesn't mean we are bad guys. Yeah. We enjoy the company of the dead. So what? Dude, what the hell? What? I was just backing you up, man. What's the damn problem? The problem is you made us sound like total psychos. Oh, come on. I was just saying. Yeah, but it's because of comments like that people call us the office freaks. They call us that? If taking blood samples and stuff is your job, you're not like normal cops, are you? So what's it to you if I leave? You don't need me at all, right? Unless you want to look for fingerprints on my ass or something. You can stop right there, Mr. Smarty Pants. That's not how it works. If Sergeant Kramer gives us an order, we are going to obey it. We don't want to get on that bastard's bad side. 